Hello everybody, January 3rd. What an incredible day for silver. Made up all of its losses from last week. It was up at 6.6% .6 at one point. And it's the highest rise in, highest surge in over three years. Um, almost back to 30. So, you know, a nice day for silver and gold is up 30 plus dollars also. It's time for the predictions video. I, one of my favorite videos of the year. Uh, this is the third time that I've done this. And keep in mind, I do this for fun. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know what we're going to see. I'm not an expert. Um, however, I, last year I did quite well. Uh, I guess you could consider this an uh, educated guess. Um, this is just where I see things headed. I've told you before, and a one-year prediction is kind of short-term. And I've told you before, don't listen to my short-term predictions, um, especially like a three-month one or something, because no one is, you know, that great with short-term predictions unless they can foretell the future. But anyway, I do this for fun, and I want to start off by saying two years ago I predicted when silver started off, I don't know, in the teens, 17, I predicted we see $33 silver in 2010. I ended at 31 and change, so I came within a dollar fifty or so of, of nailing the high price for that year. And I overshot gold by three, four hundred. I thought I'd go higher. But let's see what I saw. I said this last year. I'll go ahead and roll that now, and we'll look and, and we'll see how I did. I'd so like to predict a gold price of $1,900 an ounce. And I'd like to predict a silver price of $55 an ounce. Um, you know, I think in the first half of this year, I think uh, we can see $42, $43 an ounce silver. That's quite possible. So you can see that this past year, I, I um, was pretty happy with my prediction on the gold, the highest gold price we would see for the year. Uh, I was looking for 1900 and we hit 1923 I think. And then silver I thought we'd see 55, we saw 4950 or whatever. I was within $5.50 of the high for silver and $23 for the high for gold. So I think I did fairly well last year. This year I'm going to say that before April, before the end of April, I think that we could break the $50 high in silver, all-time nominal high. We could possibly, um, but like I said before, don't listen to my short-term prediction. Um, you know that's just what I'm thinking could possibly happen. All right, so I'll lay it out there. The high for the year, I think, is going to be. We're going to see seventy-five dollars silver this year. That's what I'm thinking. Um, on gold, I'm thinking we're going to see twenty-seven fifty. Now. A couple reasons why I say that. The private banks are being given loans by the central banks to make everyone feel like everything's okay. But, you know, but their loan practices is what's got them in the problem they're in, and you're going to loan them more money so they can lose that money. There's going to be massive money printing in 2012. Um, we're going to see QE3 one way or another. I mean, I think we've already seen it in disguise, but we're going to see it full-fledged one way or another. We could possibly see a dollar devaluation, which I pray for the citizens of the United States that doesn't happen. So I think most people aren't ready for something like that. They don't. They can't even fathom something like that happening. But if you look at the 2002 November 21st speech by Ben Bernanke, he lists five things he's going to do. And he's done all of them but devalue the currency, which Roosevelt did, and that was by 43%. And I'm not going to go into that whole thing, but he did it, and Bernanke glorifies it in his speech. So that's a possibility. So anyway, uh, those are my predictions for this year, and we'll have to see what happens. It should be an interesting year. Um, one other thing I want to say was, you know, I feel that 2012 is also going to be a year of, of ditching the counterparty risk. You know, with the whole MF Global thing that just happened, that could be a precursor to some more, you know, what we're going to see coming in 2012. Uh, 40,000 clients, just, nope, sorry, your money's gone. I mean, 
Is that really what people want to risk with their digital money? I mean, I think that's going to drive more people into precious metals, holding, you know, some, holding some real money in their hand, having it in your hand, not worrying about whether you know it's being gambled away. So, counterparty risk driving people into this uh, is one thing. I saw today also that the U.S. mint sales of of these uh, silver eagles here was almost 40 million, another record. Um, it kind of averaged seven million uh, since '86 when it started. It averaged seven million, you know, five million, ten million, uh, in around seven, eight million a year until it got to 2008. Jumped up to like, I don't know, ten or fifteen, and then 20, 25. It just kept stepping up. Uh, I think last year was 35. Just anyway, it was, it was a step ladder for the last four years. But like, um, so anyway, that's it, and. Talk to you all soon.